right, all right. Get these headphones on, get your show started. Savage AF, Breezy JJs, I see you. Glass in hand, <laughs> come fuck with me. Uh, El Noop, yo, yo. Pretty on the left and the right. Big Shang's just jumping in the building, I see him. Let's go, dog. Hey, guys. I see you. Kane Garlene, welcome back. Who else is here? Come on now. Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. There we go. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? Feeling very good today. Go ahead and send that request, Shane. Come on, jump in that room, brother. Let me see. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Where you at, Shane? Come on. Come on, Shane Gadang. Hey, Evelyn Gatlin, I see you. Miss Unique Love, I see you too. Let me see. Let me see. Go live with request to Shane. Let's see. That happens. Connecting. Yeah. Hey! That's a matter for hey. you, man. Hey, I'm a, why don't, hey, hey, young man, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Drinking? Drinking? You know, drinking? You know, you know my midday what are you My morning. Do you drink a little bit? You know, I swing up. Me and my uh, my, my, well, my music. Hey, what's up, everybody? Savage AF. You know what it is. All right. Thank y'all for uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel, which is kind of cool. That y'all are subscribing to the YouTube channel, watching the videos. Not just subscribing, but watching the videos. So thank you for watching the videos. Savage AF, he's going to pin it up there, but I'm going to let you know where you subscribe to Savage AF. All the other people that name they shit Savage AF, because I saw there's a couple other ones, but they different. We the ones. We the best. Um, Savage AF, you know, brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory. Make sure, make sure to subscribe to the podcast version of the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. I know I say it fast, so I'm going to say it slow. I heart spot. You already, you fucking heard me. And uh, I'm not going to tell you again. And then also make sure you check us out on the podcast. I mean, the, the, the YouTube version of the show, which is Savage AF Podcast. Go to YouTube, put search Savage AF Podcast. He'll pin it on there. And then we're going to talk about it. We, you, we ain't going to just be about it. We're going to talk about it. All right. That's, That's the way it, it goes. Spin. All right. Shama Lama Ding Dong. You put the ooh, mow, mow, oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't, I don't know I don't, where that all right. came from. There you go. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck I just said, but I said it. Speaking of it being, was said. Speaking of being about it, um, TK575, we see you. Mr. Miranda, we see you. Uh, Tricky CJ, C Jr., Tricky C Jr., let's just say that. Uh, speaking of being about it, man, I I'm getting prepared because they gave me that call today. That's why I was late sending the one sheet, brother, but uh, they gave me the call today. And Le Leviathan has arrived. Levi, <laughs> yeah. it's um, it's in the building. It's it, no, it's no, it's, it. not, um, it's not. He's not in the building yet. But you know, you gotta once the gun comes in, then you start your back, your background check well, on that. You gun, know what? So. The way things are going right now, and some of the stuff I heard, um, I was you know I was online doing some stuff. I was I had to re kind of uh, boot some of my stuff on my computer because I was finishing up some work for uh, for. Uh, you know, shows and stuff, and um, man, <laughs> and <laughs> it's getting crazy. It's like weird. Every day it seems like something crazy, crazy. Let me ask everybody here on Savage AF that's watching us, make sure you uh, follow at Black Pedro. If yeah. you're on my page, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Also, let me, and, and don't say, yeah, I did it, if you didn't do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Just, do it. Do it. Do just, it. Just do it. Do it. That was um, uh, Shia LaBeouf. Thank you. That's what it is. Okay. Do it. So make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Make sure you follow. If you ain't following me, then follow me, please, at Comedian Shank. But mm -hmm. he will pin it on there in a minute. And it's, he showed you pinned. he got the bullets. The, it's already, you it's saw already pinned. Like, it's pinned. I pinned it. I can't see it. Hmm, that's weird. I'm looking at it. Pinned. That's weird. Oh no, no, and uh, and also I can only see one at a time. Yeah, if you you got to slide up now and do a, a smaller video to see the whole feed at once. So they they must have changed it a bit. They changed the interface a bit. You have to what? So slide your screen up, like slide your thumb up your screen, and and it'll 
minimize the video and make the comment section bigger. Oh, I see a change. This is new. I yeah. like it, but I don't like it. It's like it's nice, but it's not nice, nice. It's right. good, but it's not good, good. I don't right. know, mate. Like a lot of you ladies have the good, good. I know you do. I like wop. it when the ladies have the good, good and the wop. Is it called the wop? A wap? What is it called? I don't wop. know. I've heard it before. I know the Negroes like the song. It's called wap. Wh is it whip? A, a white guy oh. at work was like, "Isn't it? Isn't it wap?" I was like, "That don't. That don't even sound sexy, <laughs> girl. You got that wap?" Yeah, wap <laughs> don't sound sexy. You sound like uh, sounds like Elmer Fudd trying to say, trying to order a sandwich. Like, yeah, I'll have the chicken wap. Like you know, it's, uh, you know. no, we only have chicken wraps. You yeah. heard me. I said whack. Listen, you want a, a wet ass pussy chicken? Okay, I I don't know. I, all right, well if that's what you want, <laughs> that's why you got to tell them if that's what you're feeling. All right, but Savage Half is brought to you, and I want y'all to know that thank y'all. We've been doing this now because we haven't been in the studio. Not our fault. COVID is fucking everything up. But an eight million dollar studio, and I'm not joking. They have an eight million dollar studio that we're not in now. But we're bringing it to you on Instagram Live, and we appreciate y'all for even, you know, fucking with us the way you've been fucking with us consistently. All y'all people that are consistent, we appreciate y'all. Make sure that you subscribe to the, all the other stuff, too. And if you already have, thank you so much. That's what I'm saying. While Pedro gets his, uh, his, his, his death pills ready. We load, we load magazines over here, Doug. Um, let's do the daily run-up, man, because it is uh, God damn it. October, October 14th. 2020. Cheers to everybody right. out there. Let's get this show started, <laughs> man. Um, today, well, but, but, okay, but I'm, we're going to go off a little bit today. I wanted to go off a little bit, but we'll stick kind. Of, we'll, we'll stick and move because there's some other stuff I wanted to jab in there a little bit. So go ahead. I'm sorry. I yeah. just I didn't mean to interrupt you, all young day, man. No, no, go ahead, yeah. man. Um, so uh, today we're going to talk about. Or we're going to end the show talking about pole position. Uh, as record number of people ballots have already been cast, people are out there doing it. We're going to talk about it. Uh, but before that, we're going to talk about All in the Family. Those were the days! Not, not, the, <laughs> not the old Archie Bunker. That was a good one. No, dude, no, that was pretty good, Pedro. Those were the days! <laughs> Boy, the <laughs> wind, the winning thing. Fucks my throat up. Songs that. that made the hip parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not that Was show. that it? Not that show. We're talking about the uh, COVID fest that it went on at the White House when we found out now that Baron Trump, uh, the youngest Trump child, uh, did catch <laughs> the COVID youngest as Trump well. child. We're going to talk the about that because it's deeper than him just catching it. I I'm going to tell you that. Uh, but before we get right. into that, I'm, I'm going to just say, come on, man. Come on, man. And when I say man, I don't mean like homie. I mean the state of Maine. Maine. The Who's state actually, of Maine. The actual, who, Yes who's actually been hiring uh, <laughs> lawyers. They, they, they're the only state with no public defenders. They, hire, they contract lawyers, and, and some of the lawyers they contracted had criminal backgrounds. Come on, man. <laughs> we could do better than that. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, but before we get into that, we're going to talk about town hall, town versus club. Yeah. Because NBC, shame on them, has now scheduled a competing town hall with Trumpy Dumpty to go against ABC's town hall with uh, Joe I think, Biden. is that tonight? Uh, I think so. Um, or is it tomorrow? Either way. Clown no, show. I think it's tonight. We're going to talk about that. Uh, Kamala versus ACB, though. That's what I want to start the show off. She, uh, she, 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 she changed up a little bit. I think she worked on her. She bobbed and weaved. She got that almost that Mike Tyson roll up on you like, oh, shit. Oh, oh. And, 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 she, and she, she did a thing. I, I, mean, I got to get gonna, to it. If we're going to talk strategy boxing-wise, I'd, I'd say she did a good job of working the body first. And then just kind of setting up um, for yeah. the for the head taps that she gave uh, ACB today. Now again, yeah. none of none of this shit is going to uh, make a difference. This, yeah, it's it's not going to keep Amy Coney Barrett out of the out of the Supreme Court. She she is your next justice, so just swallow that biscuit and put honey on it first. Um, but what you can do is make her look very very shitty, and she is. Hey, what's up, Eve? Eve in the building. Eve, Eve underscore, underscore Apple, Apple. seventy nine. 16. 16. Um, and, and check this out. I know we haven't been posting this recently, but because we definitely want you to fuck with the podcast and the uh, YouTube. But if you want to check us out pertaining to, I'm going to type it in there. If you want to check us out pertaining to our T-shirts, our masks, we got Savage AF masks. Don't be average. Be savage. 
we got those. So make sure I'm going to let you know. I'm going to type it in here and make sure you check it out if you get a chance. The T-shirts and the mask if you want to get a Savage AF T-shirts. And we're going to be, um, you know, changing up the price, lowering it for only for our people. Everybody else kiss our ass. Mm. But uh, we're going to lower the price for y'all. So go to the website, IamShane.com backslash merch, and you can check it out. And also, still working on the other website because I'm working on two websites at the same time. Um, want you to check out, check that out. But all right, so, so there we go. Check it out, y'all. Um, back to ACB versus Kamala. Uh, you know, Kamala was definitely in prosecutorial mode. I think you know that 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 DA AG blood came out of her, and uh, you know she she was uh, you know. And I'm glad we talked about Amy Klobuchar yesterday and, and the way she sort of approached uh, her questioning of um, ACB. But, right, you know, she, she kind of set up this argument of, well, we, we're just, if you're not going to answer these questions, we're just left to follow these footprints, you know, that you've left behind. Right. And that's if, you, if you're going to basically avoid every question, because that's what she did. She was dogging, uh, dodging and weaving anything somebody asked her. And then the Republicans were just asking dumb shit. So, hey, you like baseball? What about the what, what about the trailblazers? And like just dumb shit. And and what's that Lindsay Lindsay half of half a fucking man Graham of uh, that bitch. Graham yeah, cracker. that that cracker ass cracker that he he just start talking about insignificant shit wasting the time because they know they can push it through, which is some bitch shit. And I believe that they deserve uppercuts. From Mike Tyson. And I'm talking about young Mike Tyson. I ain't talking about old Mike Tyson, but old Mike Tyson fuck you up too. If you've seen the he's footage serving, of him. He's still serving yeah. hot biscuits. Hot biscuits. That yeah, he's definitely serving hot biscuits. Um Ashley, what's up? Uh and a couple other people, Rosemary Ball and uh join. What's up? We got people joining on, jumping on, jumping on. Thank you so we much. See and if you but, you know what I'm saying, we see y'all. We see you you in the building. Yeah. Uh, I don't care so, what Graham either. Miss Unique underscore love. Uh, Lindsey Graham is a pip. She's, I mean, he. I said she. Well, she, he. Fuck don't out. disrespect women Damn. like that. Yeah, don't even disrespect women that way. He is so hypocritical, and he is a flip flopping motherfucker. He said verbatim, "If you know, you can use my words against me. We're not going to do. Um, you know, let the people, let the let the American people." decide but he ain't doing that shit so you know what right. when i see that motherfucker in the street run hands that's all i'm go. saying and i'm pretty sure i can't well, beat a lot of people because i'm old and weird now but when i was young i could go but now i'm 99.999 percent sure i could beat lindsey graham's ass so that you'll, you'll never get that opportunity so <laughs> shit <laughs> here's what uh kamala did here's what kamala did Let, let's stick with that right uh she she looked at Amy Coney Barrett's past, and this is my favorite part, is she set up this whole argument of her, you know, basically her labor law history. Uh, she's only been on the bench three years. Um, but in that time, Kamala Harris laid out that 85% of her judgments uh, involving um, arbitration between an employee and a, and a corporate entity 85% right. of the time, she sided with the corporate <laughs> entity. So without getting her to answer any questions about policies and, and laws and uh, opinions, she was able to clearly show that this woman is not a judge of the people, that she's you know more on that corporate side. Um, and then she was also able to expose that basically she thinks that climate change is a debatable issue. Right. So she right. wouldn't she wouldn't say that. But, you know, she got her to admit other things that weren't as as debatable, like racism, for instance, like Amy Coney Barrett admitted there's racism. Thanks, Ames. <laughs> we appreciate Thanks, that. Ames. Girl. Like Thanks people, you know, what's weird. There was actually people on the right. Those motherfuckers. And by the way, all their mothers definitely had sex with cousins. That's mm -hmm. so I just want you to know that a lot of you, the kids that are from the right are actually inbreds i know that's wrong to say but i'm just i'm just letting y'all know but i like the cousins. fact that she kind of trapped her into it but the fact that the right is like hey you know amy at least you know said something about racism it's like yo you don't get no props for that it was it was good that you said it because they fucking had to trap you into saying it you cunt but um yeah i said it i don't give a fuck but it's the truth so what 
But, and by the way, El New, I'm not two feet tall. I'm three feet tall. Keep it real. And yes, Eve, I am 75 years old. So fuck all you young millennials. Um, but no, I think that the main thing about it is, I think that there was a lot of things where it was like, you ain't got to tell us. We got you saying the shit. Like, yeah. you ain't got to answer it. Cause we know your fucking track record. She's so, gonna. You could tell she's just a career. She's a careerist. She's just a fucking. She's a pawn. Trump wants it because one of the reasons Trump wants her is because he knows that if the election comes down to bringing it to the courts, if he has that extra, you know, right wing suck up, guess what the fuck's gonna happen? Okay, guess what the fuck's gonna happen? Boom. He's going to be president through the courts, not the people. And with all these motherfuckers out there voting, I know that it's going to be a revolution. There's going to be some shit going on. I don't want a civil war, but I'm thinking that it's going to get, it's going to be an uncivil war, especially the way you loading bullets over there right now. God damn, dude. Got that five, five, six, <laughs> baby. This military grade. Got that five, five, six, baby. Military grade. What's up? Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, Pedro, Pedro Leviathan, going in for real. What's Leviathan, up, uh, MJ? Leviathan, MJ, uh, Raven, seven. Yeah, what's up? Leviathan will be at the house on uh, the 25th. That's when I can go pick him up. Uh, so okay. uh, we'll so be ready for how that. Long did take, how long did it take you before you could get it? How long? I mean, how long ago? I went and bought it like two weeks ago. It, it came in like 16 days ago is when I first put down on it. Okay. My, my shotgun is still nowhere to be found. So I, I don't know what happened to Bruce. He out there, but. We get ready. Leviathan, that's right. We're going to call him Levi for short, y'all, <laughs> once you get to know him. And, and, AJ, and AJ Pitt, I, by the way, I am 280 pounds and I'm three feet tall. So <laughs> it just, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a process. Damn, pretty, uh, on, pretty on the left and right said I look like a Vietnam War vet. Yo, you're not even going to give me the Gulf War or Afghanistan <laughs> yeah, or some shit like yo. Vietnam? Damn, nigga, I like, wasn't even around. Man, you look like, that. damn, but, and that, with me, they'd be like, damn, Shane, you look like a World War II vet. Hey, everybody kiss my ass. <laughs> we, we, doing, we doing Civil War reenactments over here, I guess, to y'all. But I know, whatever. I know. It, it, was, it was definitely war, I think, between Kamala and ACB. It was, it was a Civil War. Both ladies maintained decorum, okay, uh, yeah. and, and were composed. But I think Kamala did a great job of vice presidential candidate and Senator Kamala Harris did a great job of setting her up as best she could, you know, within her world of, Oh, I can't answer that. It's yeah. Like, well, traps. And she said, well, tra I think she set traps up and you can see past. Yeah. But between Amy Comashaw and, um, uh, Miss Harris, if you're nasty, yeah. uh, both of them set up some nice traps. Um, the other Amy was straight, more straight to the point. Look, you know what's up. You know what it is. Like, and then I think that uh, uh, I think Vice President uh, nominee uh, Miss Harris, mm -hmm. she actually said, "Trap, trap, trap, gotcha, bitch! Trap, 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 gotcha, bitch!" So there was a lot of gotcha, bitches. Um, and you know, where's Cole Silly? Cole Silly's getting a, he's actually getting a sex change in the alleyway somewhere. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. He sent some message after it. I didn't even read it yet, but it's yeah, all good. I know. No, AJ, I know, man. AJ, I know you were saying that. I was just saying I was just being stupid because I'm <laughs> scary stupid. Um, Eve, Eve's underscore Apple said we've collected his skull. <laughs> all who come, skulls will will stay. But no, I the, now the one thing I now even though it won't do anything because you know they got the votes and they're and they're bitches. Um, I think that the main thing is what's it doing it? The American public can see these, this, this, this heifer is not what they said she was. And they're like, oh, she's such a good person. She, you know, she adopted Haitian kids. And you know what? Sometimes she actually watches black movies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she actually watches some black film. She Last watched black year, kids, guys. She yes. Watched black she kids. watched a black actor in the green book. Oh my, oh my, what? She's like, I have two blacks in my house. Okay. Kind of <laughs> First off, me. anytime you start calling us, yes. Yeah, when you start off calling us blacks, that's where you fucked up. That's where it's, you ain't supposed to be like my, my African American or black. Just say, yeah. you know, like my, my blacks. And because guess what? We don't really call each other blacks. I hate to break that to y'all. I mean, where the people that are. Where are my blacks at? Yeah, my here? people. Y'all in this yeah. bitch? 
Where my blacks? Yeah. Oh, I see some blacks over there. Oh, I see some blacks yeah. over there. Yeah. Unless your unless your family name is black. Or and blacks. then then it's different. Then, it's like, then, hey, then, uh, Mr. Black, black. Right. Just the blacks. Yeah, we the black. But it's different if if white people say the blacks. Yeah. Instead of you know, it, it just sounds weird. It makes, an, it makes us into an object. You know, like yeah, yeah, like right. Where the blacks as in, yeah, yeah, are the marbles. Uh, all right, so speaking of marbles and losing them, uh, I feel like NBC's out of their fucking mind. I get that these networks have, you know, they compete for ratings and things like that, but listen, we went from supposed to be having a, a second debate in which we're going to try and hear these candidates talk about things to a cancellation of that, which turns into a, a, a town hall meeting uh, for Joe Biden, which was scheduled over a week ago. And now a couple of days ago, they announced that on a competing network, they're going to do a competing town hall with Trumpy Dumpty. Actually, that's going to be a clown hall. We, we, we've we've right. seen him do that before. But so now instead of getting to compare them, you're, you're dividing the country even more, right? It's like you got to pick and choose. Same time, right? Different network. You got to pick and choose who you're listening to and who you're, you know, there's no, there's no ability to compare in real time. Um, and, and they're not interacting, obviously. So, I, I, to be honest, I'm going to put this one, uh, you know, this is a, a quintessential Trumpy Dumpty move. Obviously, he's going to do this. But NBC, you talk about cancel, cancel culture, man. These motherfuckers need to be boycotted heavy for that. Oh, heavily. I, I NBC mean, is I, showing, their, right. Um, Siba313 said NBC is showing their true colors. The fact that they did this was obviously, we already got enough division in the it's motherfucking It's not even country. Fox doing it. It's not even Fox doing it. I know. It's NBC. If it was Fox, I go, yeah, that makes sense. Fox is a bunch of, they're, a, you know what they, you know what they are. They're, they're a bucket of cunts. But I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fact that they're doing the same time. They couldn't do it another day, so we can watch one one day, watch the other one day, at least to compare. And in fact, Trump does that, and Trump's like, everybody knows we're gonna watch the train wreck before we watch fucking Biden say some sensible shit. We want to see if. Trump is going to take his clothes off and run around in a circle <laughs> naked, you know what I'm saying, and wipe his ass on the ground and leave an orange trail. I mean, did you, that's what did, we, did you hear him at that one rally uh, recently where he was like, I, I'd kiss everybody. I'd kiss the guys. I'd kiss the ladies. I'd kiss them all. I'm like, yeah, you'd kiss the hey, guys. Man. Hey, but first off, kiss the guys. Secondly, don't you have COVID, motherfucker? I'm like, see, I knew it, man. Y'all ain't going to be jacuzzi and nobody in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I knew y'all was up to some shit. Um, it, it, but, just, it, was, it, was, it was like when I heard NBC was going to do that, I just went, what the fuck? It's like there ain't enough shit in the world that you want to – and NBC, you showed the true colors. And I honestly think that the Savage Nation, if there, I don't really know that many shows that's on NBC because I don't really watch regular TV that much. But, yo, fuck NBC. Same <laughs> shit. Fuck time. NBC. Yeah, you yeah, know, no, no, for this, a long this, time, this, other than after Cosby, it was called the No Brother Channel because most of the shows didn't have no black leads. After the Cosby Show, they kind of went they went left a little bit. I mean, right? My bad. So fuck them for doing that shit. And I and I hope I hope <laughs> that they <laughs> what they say. Eve, Eve said. Got, Eve said. So he's grabbing balls and penisy now too. <laughs> yes. He's he, like, that I was kiss a word. everybody. You know what? I feel so great. I'm going to come down there, and I already gave a lot of you COVID already, but I'm going to give more people COVID, and hopefully everybody dies, because if I lose, I want everybody to die. Hide your penis. Hide your penis, everybody. Penis and Because you know, yeah, I mean, he's grabbing dicks. He's grabbing dicks and pussies now. This is what, this is our president. This is the experiment that white folks that decided that I'll Hillary was too guy. much of an ass. I'll kiss the guys. <laughs> like, yeah, it, just, it was about? horrible. What the fuck are you talking about? So, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, and that's, that's the thing. He, he does win these rating wars, right? <laughs> like, people do watch him because it is this clown-ass show. Right. Um, so, so then eyes come off of Joe Biden, which could be something substantive. You know, it, it, it could, you might actually get something good out of Joe. Everybody's going to jump from that to, to the, the fuck shit donkey biscuit show. You know what I mean? The, of I, course. You know, the, the, I, the train wreck. The train wreck. The, the, the steroided beach, out beach fucking fest. psycho. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you know, that, that shit is, um, 
It's NBC being bitches. Yeah, and Miss Unique uh, underscore love said, like, Oprah, you get COVID. You get COVID. Look on your seat. You all get COVID. Everybody, you get COVID. Hey, everybody, how you feeling? You feel good? You won't feel good after this show. Look yeah. under your seats. You get COVID. That's what's going to fucking happen. Miss Unique underscore love. You're right. Well, speaking of everybody getting COVID, I'm, I'm going to switch these next two stories and then and, and, and jump past Maine and, and come to All in the Family, right? Because but Baron, <laughs> yeah, what we have is <laughs> that slow that moving motherfucker. Baron, Baron Trump, uh, their teenage son had COVID, HAD, and now is is negative for it. Um, so no real big story there, except as as far as I see it, this idea, and and it's funny because as I was tuning off of uh, CNN to to start the show. Chris Cuomo was going in on exactly this point, that, that the same way I felt. And Chris Cuomo was talking about how, he, how shameful he felt for infecting his wife and, and kids, right? Um, and every, it all worked out. But that, that, that's what dawned on me with this story is that, you know, by God, all of this stuff that you do and all of the shit he's done, at the end of the day, he didn't even give a fuck about infecting his wife and youngest child. You know what I mean? Not at like, all. At like, all. That's at not, all. That's at not all. a consideration he obviously took. They got it. He has no qualms about it. You know, he's not ever going to because they, they, they came through fine. So there's, but, and even though Chris's, Chris Cuomo's family came through fine, as a man, a decent human being, he still felt ashamed about bringing this thing home to his family. And, and, and at the end of the day, as the man of the house, ultimately, even though it's not your fault, I, I can totally empathize with the sen sentiment of not protecting your family, right? Of that feeling of, man, I, I brought something potentially lethal into this but house and it got into it my really? family. And this is not anything that would ever go through Trump D. Dumpty's mind. I'm like, bro, you got your young child sick. And he don't give a fuck about his son. He don't give a fuck about uh, that Baron. He don't give a fuck about his wife. You can tell there ain't no love between them. It's yeah. it's it's all photo ops with his wife and with her creepy snake eyes. I swear I saw her in the movie Anaconda. She's like she is just she like is, she, she was the under Anaconda, the boat, she, she and it's Anaconda. like uh, and, and Ice Cube was like, "You mean they got snakes this big?" That was like that's it was like What's crazy up, that he don't give a fuck about Baron. You notice he don't ever, and there's a couple of his other sons he don't give a fuck about that he thinks are fucking dummies that he's talked shit about. But not having any empathy for your wife, not having empathy for your, your, your son is just, it's par for the course. I'm at the point now where I'm not, is anybody really surprised how horrible this man is? This shit, people go, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned. No, I'm not. And the shit he's going to do tomorrow is going to be another fucking shit show. He's going to act it up and be act like he has empathy when he doesn't. He don't give a fuck. And he's trying to kiss everybody in the mouth with his COVID lips. His little tiny anal COVID lips. <laughs> anal, so anal COVID. He has anal lips. Like he, he does like that. When, he when, when, like so much, when so much shit falls out of your mouth, of course you have anus lips. Of course, of course you got anus lips. Matches, yeah, exactly. matches, three, matches 360. What up, cuz? Welcome back. Uh, Baron gonna be a rapper. <laughs> uh, he, he's gonna be a whapper. <laughs> That's what he's gonna be. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't know that. You know, obviously, there's no story here. Nothing to be worried about with the kid or even Melania. But there is this idea that he infected his family and has no. But no, yeah, whatever. Not none. So, yeah, and, but you good. know what? Let's think about how many other people probably in his staff and the other people that haven't been, you know, that he's infected because he, he did the Mussolini fucking grab the mask off, went in and there was staff there. There's people who the, the people, the janitors, the fucking people who work there. The, the, and his his own security, two of them got fucking COVID and one of them got hospitalized. It wasn't like he got COVID of... and had mild fucking symptoms. He got COVID and, and it slam dunked him. And this is in shape fucking security, dude. So you know he don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, man. You know it, it's it, mad. Mad um, Secret Service no. have gotten sick over over this course of this pandemic. When he sends them around uh, all over, you know, the fucking country for his rallies and stuff like that. 
Uh, these guys are getting sick. They're being put at risk. And, and I think know, he's having a rally tonight somewhere. He's doing more the 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 the, the super spreader COVID tour. He's like he's like the uh, the old uh, Los Angeles Angels. Um, <laughs> The Los Angeles Angels uh, mascot thing that they had, the rally monkey. That's yeah. He has a little rally monkey, man. He just, he's spinning the monkey around, yeah. and they come out like, <laughs> just, like swinging out the trees, these rally monkeys. Dog. Yeah, and, and, and hold up. This is the thing. Somebody made a point on I said, do you realize the situation? I did a post. Look at my most current post. It's, from, it's called a, uh, America Really. That's the name of the, the people who put this together. Called, like um, And... He said, look at all of the shit that's going bad when you look at the majority of it. Who's at fault? Mm-hmm. In, ter- in, ter- in terms of what? Yeah. I'm going to jump off. Jump back on. You're going to jump back on? Okay, jump back on. Um, yeah, man, you know, none of this, none of this behavior surprises us when we, when we look at Trumpy Dumpty, right? Like, we, we understand that he, you know, he's a raccoon minded, you know, I don't know what you uh, goddamn space ghost ass jackal monkey fuck. So, but I just at a human level, I was like, man, this man doesn't even have any compassion for his own offspring in terms of like, ah, oh, shit, I put my kid in potentially harm's way. Because in his mind, none of it even fucking registers as, as harmful. Anyways, what's up, usually Stacy? We see you. When you you're usually Stacy, but who are you at when you're not? Um, so that's what that is, man. I'm waiting for Shang to jump back in, and then uh, we're gonna head off to this next topic. But um, while we're waiting on him, thank you guys for being here with us on IG Live. Uh, let me send him another request here. I'm gonna go live with Shang, <clears throat> and uh, thank you guys for following us here on IG Live Monday through Friday. Mondays and Friday we're on 3 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are all Pacific Standard Times. Um, I think you were making a point, Shang. Sorry, man, if you... Uh... No, no, it's just my, my, yeah, my brother. I, I texted him and said, that, nigga, hey. Um, no, I, I do think that, that the, the fact that he's gone out there when he did have COVID, when he was, didn't test negative and did this shit, you know he gives zero fucks. But not to even give a fuck about your family that way, and there's still people, the majority of people that support this man, the majority of people that are in the militias or in the whatever def- definition you want of militias, unfortunately, the people that might be on here that might be Caucasian or pigmently challenged or whatever you want to call it, European Americans, it's the bulk of this, this fuckery is you. And I'm, hey, I'm, I let, I, I, it's time we start saying, not all of white people, because there's white people that don't like this dude at all, and they're against him. There's Republicans that are against him. But the bulk of them, because he can still win this election, if he, even if he cheats. Um, you know what? It's you. And it's time we start saying, point the finger, because they point the finger at us all the fucking time. They, I've seen them say Pedro did it. And Pedro didn't do it. But they just said it. it. Pedro it. did it. Yeah, they so... Yeah, they, uh, they, they really are. AJ, AJ Fit 365, stop talking crazy. He says it's already been tested and proven. The second time you get COVID, it's even worse. Second time? <laughs> what you talking about? What you doing? Listening to scientists and doctors, AJ Fit 365? Yeah, You're man, crazy. you need to chill Boy, with that listening your pre- to your president, shit. your president is cured, according to him. Yeah. He, oh, wait. He, he's not he only cured, immune. He's, he's immune. immune. <laughs> yeah, no, and, I'm and immune. Yeah. At his, at his last rally, he was like, Anybody else in here had it? Who else had it? A few people clapped. He was like, yeah, you're the guys I'm looking for because you're immune like me, like that kind of thing. So AJ3, AJ Fit, I, I can't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what science you're using. <laughs> you know what? And you know what? Posted. Listening, what you know, and by the way, AJ Fit, crazy. you and you're listening to the experts, you know, you get, you need to, you need to chill out with that shit. Come on, okay. Man. Come on. Come on, man. You know what? Yeah. You know what? AJ Fit. You've changed, bro. You've changed. Match, Matches 360 said, wait till COVID-20. Like, that's the sequel <laughs> y'all niggas don't want to see. <laughs> it's COVID-20, <laughs> motherfucker. This is the wild shit about it is the fact that nobody's even... I mean, they talking shit about him going to do the thing, but they, they ain't really saying, hey, man, you ain't allowed to come here. Like, what? There's the place he's going. They should be like, yo, dude, you ain't doing no super spreader motherfucking concert tour here. You ain't doing no droplet <laughs> droplet bars because that's what you're doing 
every time he's up there and there's people next to him or close to him, when he came out was throwing out masks, that was the most hypocritical cunt shit I've ever seen in my life. And that's when I was like, God damn, I wish I could full blast tackle this bitch. I'd be wanting to tackle him. Just I ain't tackled nobody in years, but I just I just feel like physical, like, ugh, I want to choke him. Choke him, but that's yeah. wrong. What's up, Zula? What's up, Zula? SRNC, I see you too. What's up, babe? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, AJ Fit, stay, stay focused, man, okay? This is your, on, your facts, your, your, your numbers, and your, what do you call them, statistics? Whatever. Whatever, bro. Save that. Stay in the gym, okay? Just stay in the gym where you belong, okay? <laughs> You're doing much better there, I see. <laughs> yeah, what, you, it's like, you have to go, you and your facts, yeah. fucker. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so, you know, and, and, and AJ Fit, when you, when you talk like that, it makes me say one thing. Come on, man. Come, Come on, on, man. Come on, Maine. Uh, but I'm not talking to you. Again, I'm talking to the state of Maine. Okay? Yes. Right there on the East Coast, where uh, for years now, and by the way, Maine is the only state in the union that does not have a public defender system. Uh, they contract out to firms and, and private attorneys to, uh, right. to, to cover public defense. Um, you know, in this country, even if you cannot afford a lawyer, it's part of your Miranda rights, uh, you are entitled to one. And every other but, state ha has a has a you know a, a public defender system, and Maine right. does not. They they capitalized it, um, basically um, private contracted it out, and in not doing their due diligence, and this this is why capitalism fucks up judicial and political realms. Is right. people people get into the money, you probably got them at a cheaper price, but they've been hiring lawyers, not all of them, but a, a good percentage of lawyers, you know. A disturbing amount that have criminal backgrounds. Right. Uh, they basically every, pulled the crime. They pulled the crime that they're protecting you. They're defending you. They're like, yeah, man, I already pulled that crime, so I know what we could do with this one. That's, so this, just, this, that's what he did. Yeah, and this was exposed through an investigation. I got this uh, article from Pro, ProPublica and, uh, the main, and the main monitor. These are the two entities that exposed this. Um, but they said that, you know, some of these lawyers had um, charges and, and, and criminal offenses uh, ranging from several DUIs on up to child pornography. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Elaine K. Ford, these are literally criminal lawyers. Not that they represent criminals, but they are them. They, they are, they are criminal lawyers. Uh, and, so, and, and they basically know when you're in trouble, they go, yeah, I got away with that one twice. I can fucking help you. <laughs> I know what to do. I mean, I'm but stunned. I, 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 Wait a minute. I, 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 Child how pornography. Are you, how are you a lawyer? How do you still have your license if, you're, if you've ever been busted for child mm -hmm. porn? Or even like multiple DUIs. Like, I feel like that should be grounds for disbarring. Um, so, well, uh, you would think. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not even sure how they got hired. You know what? Uh, you know what, Pedro? You and AJ Fitter in the same boat. What do you mean? Thinking that they shouldn't I'm have drunk, their yo. fucking... I don't know what, I don't oh, know what AJ different. Fit problem is. I'm yeah, yeah. I've been but you, don't listen you know. to me. I'm high. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, so, <laughs> I'm high as a motherfucker. So man. you think me. just because just because they're fucking lawyers and they into, you know, hitty porn... Yeah, come on, man. I saw, I saw, I saw a video of this dude. This this lady was video chatting with him and, and used her phone to tape to video the the computer conversation. And it was this dude talking about black dude talking about how he's molested an eight year old before, and he was talking about how aggressive she was. And I'm like, nigga, nigga, if you don't swallow a garbage disposal. And turn that bitch on. I will do it for you. Like, get the fuck out of here. So there are, obviously, there are obviously some sick, sick individuals out there. But once you're busted for child porn, I don't understand how you're still allowed to be a lawyer or wait. How you're still walk allowed around. to be or uh, walking around with your yeah, yeah? You shouldn't be walking around with your head attached to your fucking neck. I mean, even in prison, like you do shit like that. The other convicts are like, yeah, I'm gonna have to bust you up, fuck your face. And then throw you off the side of the fucking, you know what I'm saying, Come on, weight bro. room. Like, on, it's bro. that bad. It's just weird that that they're in that situation. But there's a lot of little, I've been to little offshoot towns where it's like Salem's Lot, where all these motherfuckers <laughs> are like, yeah, creepy, vampire looking. Hi. Welcome yeah. To Salem. 
We're so glad you came. <laughs> Don't ever leave. <laughs> Uh, and that when they laugh like that, <laughs> <laughs> like when people yeah. laugh and they mouth don't move, they just <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit, yeah. Dude, they, but um, see, but you know what? This is the thing, though, that by them hiring these people, they're they're basically saying, "Listen, we're so down the fucking, we're so down the rung of decency, we don't give a fuck." And that's what I'm starting to learn in this pandemic. I've always knew people didn't give a fuck, but the level of not giving a fuck of people, and when you have child molesters or, or, or child porn or criminals that are your lawyer, it's just the world is fucking, it's, I'm telling you right now, Beelzebub is coming soon. I'm telling you. It's, I mean, if you believe he's in that shit. In, he's sitting in the Oval Office or either in Bill Barr's office or Bitch McConnell's office. Bill's above is here. It's one of them three motherfuckers. <laughs> it might be all yeah. three, and he splits himself, uh, be multitasks. But uh, <laughs> he here. Uh, yeah. I'm an atheist. I don't even really believe in that shit, but yeah, that motherfucker here. Right. Um, if I believed in the devil, I would be think that they were, they like, were the it's devil. one of you three motherfuckers. I can't tell who. Yeah, and maybe, maybe and, and I don't know which one you got three sixes on your body, but you definitely got three sixes it's, somewhere. It's these and it's either Trump. You shave a little bit of their hair off, you see three Bill sixes. Bar. Then you got to stab them with with the the seven knives or the sacred daggers of a John. Yes, I, yes. I, 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 I want the knife. <laughs> um, so you're so, just gonna leave that booger on your, your, your you're shirt. Just gonna, you're you're just gonna, gonna, it's gonna, gonna freeze up, up later and cut you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that you know all hey, the shit I know. You know, hey. and you like know it like verbatim. So you definitely watched the movies more than once hey, to Bird. know it. Hey Bird, did you just see a little Harry Christian midget in that tree? <laughs> All right. So uh, that's a little <laughs> golden child for y'all. All right, man. So listen, here's the thing. Nobody in here no golden child. Public, oh, even a golden child. Yeah, of course. So public defenders, right? Just did just to lay out the obvious, so we get to why we're even talking about this. Right. They are there for those who cannot afford an attorney. And if you've ever hired an attorney for anything, the second, oh, they, I pull, have. The second they pull out a paperclip, $500, okay? Once, yes. once they grab their stapler, nigga, that's $650, okay? So you got to have money to be able to afford a lawyer. If you can't afford a lawyer, you're probably, uh, what do they call that? Poor. Um, so... <laughs> Largely, public defense is for the defense of poor people within our system. So if you have these cr criminal insufficient attorneys representing right. poor people, then this is part of the system that disproportionately um, jails, punishes, um, arrests poor people, right? It, it's part of right. that system. And their main is just been in this space where they're not providing any uh, right. protection. Like if you don't have a lawyer, you're fucked in main. And, yeah. and either that or the lawyer you got probably tries to fill you up because he's a criminal. So there's no don't get caught doing nothing wrong in Maine because these motherfuckers. To the, four black people, to the four black people in Maine, the blacks. <laughs> yes. That's probably the name of the family, the blacks. And everybody, that's why rain sounds, Move away. rain sounds racist sometimes because they're like, oh, the blacks are down the street. And that's really their name, but you don't understand that that's it. So uh, to the blacks in Maine. <laughs> run! Run! Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck. All of those people in Maine, I've been to Maine. Everybody there looks like they have a little thing of tea that they tack up, tap on while they're looking at you. Everybody there is like just constantly and, you know, and one little tear comes out your eye and then all of a sudden you you know, there's an old white man in your body and <laughs> his possess your body. That's, I mean, it's creepy as fuck. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been to Maine? Uh, no, no, man. And no, man. Uh, I'm just saying, been don't go. Yeah. I went up and did, uh, I did a NACA. Remember NACA? They should, they should have called it least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's no I'm, I'm just telling you right now, when I went there, I literally was like, as soon as this gig's over, as soon as it's over, Getting I'm going out. immediately back to, and I went back to the hotel and I kept looking out the window because I kept thinking, I'd see one white person standing there, then two white people, then I'd go back <laughs> and there was a whole crowd of them just looking at the window like, hey, yeah. And they'd start chanting 
Hey guys, there's a black inside. Yeah. There's a black right yeah. behind that door. Yeah, so it was literally that creepy. And then um it, and yeah, Stephen King. No, Stephen King actually designed the no, fucking it's like, building. It's, it's like Children of the Cornish or Yeah, it's so creepy. Children, but I guess the fact that the Children the, of the Children of the Cod. But if you think about it, the top cop in charge or the AG is a criminal. So mm -hmm. it makes sense. Well, you know what I mean? If you so look the, at uh, Bill Below the Bar, he's done absolutely he's a criminal. And he's the he's the Trump fucking lawyer now. He's not even America's lawyer. He's the Trump lawyer because he just said, fuck it. There's two weeks left. I'm just going full blast, you know, with his dinosaur head. He can look like a, di like a dinosaur fucked him. And it just, he really does. I don't know if y'all seen Dinosaurs Fuck, but I'm thinking anybody, they did. I don't think anybody has in a while, but somebody saw it, I'm sure. How many times um, have you even heard that sentence? Yeah, that's, that, and that's the things you get here on Savage AF. It's just yeah. unique sentences that you won't find anywhere else. Um, Governor, Jan fuck. Governor Janet Mills of Maine, she is the governor, uh, upon finding this out, uh, is calling for a bipartisan um Reformation <clears throat> during the next legislative session uh, uh, um, of of their system and of this problem. Um, so, with this information, the governor, at least the the top voice in the state of Maine, is is calling for change. She also well, used yeah. to be, she also <laughs> used to be um, state attorney general. So, I'm. I'm not sure how she wasn't aware of this prior to that. I'm not, you know, I, I'm, not sure, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure of the overlap, uh, you know, any of this. Yeah, and, and, you might not, you might, and she might not have been aware of every single public defender attorney's background. So I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to slight her like that. But um, even though, I, I don't know, it's weird to me, the idea of contracting out public defense. That totally seems like a government duty and obligation is to provide your own. And, and again, Maine is the only state that does not do this, that does not have right. a public defense entity. They, they but, contract uh, it are out. You, like, when you hear shit like this, uh, everybody here on Savage AF, by the way, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Also follow me at Comedian Chang. Also, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We got a new YouTube channel and subscribe. Don't fuck around. All right. El all right. What just, did say? El Nuke just put it all together. He said Stephen King is from Maine. <laughs> so. <laughs> They go so all pretty your much, yeah. right there. Um, is dead cats coming to eat your face? Is kids coming out the cornfields? Uh, it all that shit, uh, man. Wait, there's kids that get buried and come back and kill them, kill and your there's, parents. There's a clown. There's a clown in the sewers. Okay, so if you go to Maine, right. the, all the, all the public works are fucked up. Okay, yeah, you got ki kids in the corn, clowns in the sewers, um, fucking dead cats in the cemetery come to kill you. I yes, mean, you know. it's a, it's a, it's what it's uh, no, it's not the creepiest place because there was a place in Virginia that that's I did Kentucky. a show. That's either Kentucky that was creepy. or Mississippi. You said Virginia. I'm saying it's Virginia. either Kentucky, either Kentucky, Georgia, or Alabama. For me, those would be my top three creepy places. No, no, K the Kentucky way more. Tucky. Georgia got some cool ass places. Um, you know, Kentucky bourbon. Only good thing yeah. about Kentucky is bourbon. I can't yeah, I did. Um, I forget the name of the club, and it was. Uh, we the biggest audience we had was seventy, and I was just like, "This is a fucking horror show." But that it was, was weird because I had just in Chicago. Thing. The whole huh? town came out. That was a hundred percent of the town, though. Right? <laughs> that so you got to go by the percentages, okay? So we're so glad you came, out. man. You sold out, man. <laughs> and the same shit. Look out my window at the hotel. One white person, <laughs> two white people. <laughs> they multiplied. <laughs> Who got and then I heard a knock on the door, and I opened the door. Nobody's there. It was just, it was, it was just a horrible fucking, it was, it was horrible, man. It was a horrible gig, but I had, and it was weird. It's like, I, career wise, comedy wise, I don't understand it. It's like, I literally sold out every night in Chicago. Like every single night was packed. People couldn't get in. And then I did that gig right after that. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And the hotel smelled like, like old hooker, dead hooker ass. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't know. If, mm -hmm. Not that I know what old dead hooker ass smell like, because I ain't never been around a dead hooker. But I can just assume that it smelled Very like good. old dead hooker ass. Like, I mean, a hooker that really been run through a lot, a lot of anal, and she just died. <laughs> and boom. So, yeah. Don't go to Maine. 
<laughs> Especially if you get in trouble. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. Don't do it. Paige was like, man, I just was going to the store. Well, nah, man. you didn't come back. You, look, you didn't <laughs> you see the ordinance. The store, but you ain't coming no. back. What's your name, Pedro? No, no Pedros are allowed in the store. What? That's an official document? No Pedros. You can see look. it right here. Yeah, by Pedro, it right here. Mean, and by Pedro, we mean Carlos's and uh, you know, all of your names. Okay, Juan oh, yeah. and no Juan Guillermo's and, and <laughs> definitely and no Guillermo. Yeah, they don't even let Guillermo's come in there. There, Willie Ermo, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. Willie Ermo, Guillermo. It's name. Guillermo. Guillermo. That's not what I'm saying? I, I no. Got, got <laughs> say it again. Guillermo. 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 That's yes. I, I, said, I said it, right? Guillermo? Yes. Yes. I, got I think it right. so. I got it right. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Wait, Wait a minute. Thank you. What? Perfect Spanish. Oh. Perfect Spanish. Um, That's what I speak. The, the, oh, what's up? We got E-L-A e e Elaine K4 in the building. <laughs> um <laughs> It's hard to get together sometimes. Because <laughs> I, I don't know they fucking up. I don't know what's I'd be like, up. What's going on, B I L L? Oh, that's Bill. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Uh, like, <laughs> my I, bad yeah, the way I read it, you know what? Yo, you know what, y'all? I've been in lockdown and the shit driving me crazy. I'm starting to be like, motherfucker, somebody gonna get it. Sorry, I'm losing it. <laughs> hey, man, no, speaking, no. Of, speaking of getting Speaking it, of, no, people... I was gonna say, you. no, you did it. Go, go for it. Because I was gonna say that. People are getting it in at the polls, y'all. <laughs> polls is the Did place. Did you see that? Um, we have a record. I believe over 10 million ballots have already been cast. 12 million. It's 12, 12, 12 million. Is it 12 now? Okay, there we go. Um, well, I was still right because that's over 10 million. Hey! Goddamn right. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> shit. Um, oh! No. Enjoy, I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm going to read this for y'all real quick. This is a little, little paragraph it's from the Washington Post. In Georgia this week, voters waited as long as 11 hours to cast their ballots on the first day of early voting, which is a travesty to have to wait that long, but a testament to the dedication of the American peoples um, to stand in line that long. In North Carolina, nearly one in five of roughly 500,000 who have returned mail ballots so far did not vote in the last presidential election. That's new voters in North Carolina, okay? Uh, then in Michigan, more than one million people, roughly one-fourth of total turnout in 2016, have already voted. Right, and so, also uh, in, uh, in Mich yeah, in Michigan, a quarter of the of the total voting from last cycle in, in 2016 have already shown up. I like it. Right, but they said also the Republicans are going to basically mob in there on, you know, election November day. 3rd. Yeah, yeah, election day. They're, they're so gonna, they're you, gonna you, can't, do you can't get comfortable. You can't think that's the case because he has snaked away votes before and also you look there were people that said that that i saw some video where the guy's like yeah i voted and then he turned to the other guy you realize we came yesterday to start this process that's how long they were there they were there uh there was one guy that was there 13 hours but he said you know what and it was dope to see these younger people. He said, man, I done waited in line four hours for shoes to get some, you know, to buy the Jordans or the specialty shoes. He said, this ain't shit. And they brought out, yo, it was so dope. There's some kid, younger, uh, younger people, they actually brought out, they had uh, video games that they, you know, the video game, they brought out video games and were playing against each other while they were waiting in line to let the time go by. So the people are getting creative in how they're going out to vote. Now, when are we, we go out soon, right? Are you, cause I'm not doing it by mail. I'm going in. Yeah, I'm going in. Um, I'm going in. Cause I don't, I, for some reason, because of all this bullshit, it made me not trust them at all. At first I was like, yeah, I can mail my shit and it's cool. But then I thought, nah, fuck that. You know, I, and I don't want to risk it because they said that uh, a COVID because of the cold weather that's coming in or the, you know, the, the weather's changing, that it might spike even more. So older people are in trouble. And I've been saying this the whole time, like senior citizens are the mm -hmm. ones that I'm really worried about because there's going to be some out there. Yes, I, El Noop, I said Jordans. Ah, oh, shit. Well, here we go. I didn't know. I mean, but I didn't get any Jordans. I ain't standing in low line for Jordan. I ain't never, uh, I ain't never bought no Jordans. I don't I know. Wore in mine, fact, I, I don't wore know mine nobody. Yesterday. 
I wore mine Okay. Yesterday. Fuck all y'all. By the way, I don't even know nobody that got Jordans. And fuck Michael Jordan. You know, not by the, the way. Not the pair I have. Not the pair I have. By the way, oh, Michael Jordan Cold said LeBron is him. the best to ever do it. Michael Thank Jordan you. said LeBron Thank is the I've best to ever do it. I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you. Oh, you haven't? Go, no, no, no. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get some bronze to to go and and balance out my Jordans. Okay. I'm going. I'm gonna go and then we are gonna balance the scales of justice. I'm gonna get some LeBron. I'm not ignoring whatever they are. I'm uh, not and, ignoring the comments. I can't see them. Some because the way that this shit. I'm. You see my finger doing this shit. You hit the, hit the little arrow, man. You see this little there's a little arrow on the right side, and if you if you hit the up. Uh, It'll it'll reduce the video screen and then you can see the whole feed. I, okay, you hit the arrow. You don't see a no. little arrow in the right corner, a little. Uh, yeah, at first, at first I clicked. I thought you said swipe. Now you I'm looking can, at them, and everybody, one. everybody, everybody kicked my ass. Don't you make fun of me, goddammit. it! All right, all right. So there you go. Um, all right. So. I did not ignore the dead hooker, Eve. I knew about the dead hooker. I'm saying. It smelled like a dead hooker. Not that I know about dead hookers. Right. Okay? Right. No, for sure. Now, Pedro, on the other hand, because I've been on the road with Pedro. Pedro's had quite a few dead hookers in his room. I mean, but say, I didn't see it. I'll just say I've never paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, something's wrong with us today. And look, if people say congrats to the Lakers, LA Lakers, the LA Fakers, oh, shit. No, no, they legitimately won that. Shut up, Miss Unique. You're wrong. Lakers lit. I'm not yeah, a big no, no, fan. I'm with, I'm with you, Miss Unique. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Laker hater. Uh, oh, you're I, a Laker I, hater. But oh, you're I do, I do respect and admire LeBron James. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's slightly different. I, I, you know, I have no hate in my heart for that man. He's doing a great job. We got two minutes left on this feed, man. Uh, you feel Damn. like talking? You feel like talking a little after dark shit tonight? Um, we got time. Can can we? You you got time? Oh yeah, I got time. All right, cause uh, they out here saying that Ice Cube is supporting Trump, and I'm I'm looking yeah. over here, and yes, SRNC, you know Pistons, Detroit basketball. Um, but I want to I want to talk about and investigate this a bit. This Ice Cube thing. Uh, let let let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But but there's uh, also the meantime, one of my favorite UFC fighters, Masvidal, is a Trump supporter. And it, it kind of made me not like him no more. So I, I ain't supporting this shit no more. That's fucked up, but it's true. Ice yeah, Cube. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, we gonna play. Let's, let's, we can watch this, this uh, Twitter clip of him together, y'all, when we come back on this next hour. We got a minute left on this one. So I, I want to use that to remind you guys that you can follow us here Monday through Friday on IG Live. Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Right. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are Pacific Standard Times because we're on Pacific Standard Time. Figure yeah, it out and also city. you can make sure that you subscribe to the podcast version, yes. which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, or Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. But also the YouTube channel, which is Savage AF Podcast. Search on YouTube, subscribe, and if you don't, you know what? Your feet stink, and you don't love your baby Jesus. Your feet do stink. That, 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 is, that, that, that is facts. Smell them that is yes. facts. If you don't do that, your feet will stink. Fungi. So we're going to jump back right. on. Yes. And then. We're going to jump then, back on. Wait a minute. Yeah, what are we looking at? So we're going we gonna to talk about this cube thing. Don't worry, y'all. Don't worry, y'all. We're going to talk about this ice cube thing. And so which way are we doing it? Which way are we doing it? Um, you want, why don't you start it and I'll post.